before I start this video, I just want to say there are more important things going on in the world than football at the moment, and my thoughts are with everyone affected by this horrific vi virus, but football provides an escape for everybody during these hard times, so I'm going to talk about it today and how it could possibly restart. I've come up with several options, none of them are perfect, it's impossible to get a perfect option, but I want to share possible options about what football could do in order to get the season finished or not finished and that's what my first one is I think there's a possibility the season could become null and void which means the season is just finished now there's no promotion, no relegation and Liverpool won't win a league which is a shame deep shame, a very big shame and I think we just have the same Champions League teams as in last season so yeah, no change really. Obviously, this was very unlikely when the season was first postponed. But as we've seen the spread of this virus go up and up, I think it's probably become a more likely option. Now, I've looked at the positives and negatives of this like I've done with all the possible options. And a positive, of course, it doesn't uh, muck up the calendar too much in the future. If we can get the game started again in September or even August with crowds and everything for the start of next season, then well, that's very useful, especially considering we've got a Winter World Cup in a couple of years, and then we've got the Euros in the summer, so we really don't want to be too far behind. But a negative, of course, is no income for smaller clubs. Um, think about Berry this season, who have already gone under. If you have that with um, clubs all across the F English Football League, could lose many clubs, could even lose several clubs. I mean, it would just be disastrous. We've already seen the effect it's had this season, and it could end up in a league going, could be in that League 2 no more, so it would be a disastrous situation. And, of course, it's very unfair for a club like Liverpool, who've done so well all season, to not be handed the Premier League title. Because, let's be honest, I just like them with a passion. But you can't say they don't deserve it. They've been brilliant this season. So my next option is to just finish the season as it is. Now, of course, I think that would be very unpopular. And that would probably be deeply unfair. Just an example. In the Championship, I know there are several clubs battling out for automatic promotion. Like Leeds and Brentford. So just say Brentford have had to play all the teams at the top in the league. So West Brom, uh, Leeds, Nottingham Forest, Fulham. Whereas they haven't played the likes of Wigan, Luton and Barnsley down at the bottom. That would be deeply unfair on Brentford if Leeds had already um, played uh, that te those teams and got to play West Brom and Fulham still. I don't know if that's true, but that's just a possibility. That's deeply unfair on Brentford and would definitely hand Leeds the advantage and Leeds would be the one that going up to the Premier League, whereas Brentford won't be. So that's very unfair. And also you've got the issues of the playoffs. Um, what what would happen there? Would it be third place goes up, and Champions League spots? I think it would just be the top four at the moment. But what happens with Man City's ban? It would have to be fifth place. So it's all very confusing. But of course, the positive is it does get the season finished, and that's the main priority at the moment. Get the season finished. Move on to the next season. So it gets that done. We could also use a computer to predict the points per game of each team or a supercomputer to predict the results of uh, games in the future, but that would be very unpopular and would be deeply unfair on some teams who the computer doesn't like if the computer has an agenda against Liverpool and Man City suddenly won the league out of nowhere. I think that would be very unfair. <laughs> so I can't really see that being used for obvious reasons. But yeah, like that, it does get the season finished, but it is very unfair. Moving on to our last option now. The final option is, of course, just to finish the season, play out all the remaining games, which is obviously the fairest. Um, then we get to know who goes up, who gets relegated, who wins the league, who gets into Europe and everything without any clubs moaning, although I'm sure Jurgen Klopp would find a way to moan. And then you could get rid of the Champions League and FA Cup as unnecessary things and you could just finish the season playing... Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, by, say, if they start in early June, they can finish it by July, then the players could take a month or so break, or a couple of weeks off, then have a couple of weeks to get back fit for pre-season or whatever, 
and then you could start the season middle to late August, and then you should play a couple of Tuesday night games. Then we should be able to catch up for the end of the season, and hopefully it won't have been too big an issue. So as long as it starts like that, and the calendar isn't too uh, fucked up, excuse my language, for next season, then hopefully it should be alright, and that should be the best option. So I've considered all of the options, and it's still a very hard thing to choose what to do. I can only imagine what they're going through at UEFA, FIFA, Premier League, EFL, National League, FA, PFA, all of those different things. Bundesliga, Liga, uh, what's the Spanish league called? Sure, I forgot it. I'll, I'll stop that now. But I think points per game or use a computer or whatever, that's just not going to happen or finish the seasons is now. I don't think that should happen. I think there should be two options that are considered should just be null and void. That's the fairest way. Better than finishing the season now. And just use the same slots as la- as this season. For next season. And then hopefully we can get going in the season after that. Or finish the season. Now obviously the preferred option would be to finish the season. But that all depends on when you can get back playing. Do they want to play behind closed doors? I think if you finish the season. But it has to be done behind closed doors. They should just take that option. Because we really don't want to null and void it. But I would say, if it gets to the point of it being in uh, late June and the season still hasn't restarted, then I think we should just call it a day, null and void it, and then hopefully we can start again by August and September and just catch up the time by the end of the season. So it really is really is a tough decision, and I think we're just going to have to let it play out for a bit longer, and then we'll find out what's going to happen. That has been it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.